Hi, today we're going to be making little, very easy concertina journals. So these ones I've made before. This one is covered in wallpaper that has been glazed with a gold acrylic. And this one has been covered with watercolour paper that is then painted in acrylic. So I've got two little nice abstracts on either end of that booklet. The one we're going to be doing is like this and it's just using maps from an old Manchester A to Z, a button, some thread and some good quality cartridge paper that's cut in strips. So the idea is it ends up something like this and you can see that the beginning and the end open like a book. So that's where your end and your beginning of your concertina must be. So you have one last sheet that gets stuck down on the back of the covered card that is the front and back cover of your concertina and it will open like a book. So what you need is two pieces of card. These are six by six inches. Two little things to cover it with and that's of your choice. These are little matte pieces. A button a needle and some good thick quality yarn or thread I mean embroidery this is linen and two strips of good quality cartridge paper which is cut so that it's a strip just smaller than your square so when it's put onto the back of your piece like so so you, there's your covered square and the last bit is stuck down onto the inside back of your cover then it makes a really nice neat edge because you brought the cover over the front of the piece and fold it over to the back like you would in book binding when you cover a book cover. Some book binding glue ready, pencil ruler and I use these as like a bone folder and it's also really good for flattening down the papers. I use a piece of card, this is mount card, to spread the glue because it really helps. And a rubber just to get rid of any mistakes. Oh, and also a piece of clean, it can be newspaper but this is a newsprint, which will be used to glue up the pieces and then as you get it messy you can get rid of it and fold it over so that you're not getting anything else messy and gluey. So put all your bits to one side. At this point what you need is your card and your piece of paper that you're going to cover it with. That's got Bellevue on there. I'm going to try and get that on because it's cute. Okay, so I've got my piece of card and I just get it on the newsprint to one side so that I don't just trash the whole piece of newsprint at once. And I cover it with glue right up to the edges. It's important to get it right up to the edges and it's important that you keep the glue flat. So this is just, sorry, this is PVA neutral book binding glue. And don't get any lumps in it because they may show. Right then place this, I want the Bellevue showing. Place it over the thing, move it over to one side so it's all clean and make sure it's centered. I've just got that slightly off centered because I want the Bellevue showing. Keep it away from your glue, which is there. I mean, really, you either cut that off or you fold it over. I'm going to cut that out so I can keep using this piece of paper enough. I can just cut it and fold it and it's clean, isn't it? Right, this is really useful for this bit. So you just smooth it over and you'll find you squidge the glue off of it. But you're really flattening the piece down and any excess glue will come to the edge. So you've got that flattened down. You then snip the corners at 45 degrees, leaving a sort of couple of millimetres off of the edge of the corner. Then, because you've got a clean piece of newsprint, haven't you? You can start again. And a nice bit of newsprint and glue up the edges. 
just as you have done the front, making sure you get right to the edges because you'll just get rid of this newsprint piece that you've just glued up again. Okay, I'm gonna move that, cut it so that I can fold the newsprint over so that I keep knowing that it's all clean and away from the glue. Oh, on a clean piece of newsprint, I'll put this over and I'll just ease these over the edges of the card and fold it over nicely. It's nice and sharp. Trying not to get glue all over my fingers. I'm doing fairly well so far. But then it's the, really it's the bone folder that helps in the end. I'm going to get a piece of tissue as well and just so that I can wipe the bone folder of any glue. I can lift off any excess glue. It dries clear in any case the glue. But what you get is a really lovely flat edge by the time it's all done. Right, so you want two of those. There you go. So put that to one side to dry. Right, I'll get rid of this. I will need it again. Just to show you what the next stage is. Once this is dry, once your lovely front and back is dry, make sure they're the right way up at all points. Now you want to think about the button and where you're going to put it. And I like them off centre. So you would just thread up your needle, thread the needle but don't knot it, get your button out, I can fancy a green one this time, position it and at this point before you fix the paper to the back, sew your needle in. Now the best thing to do is to start from the front, so you decide more or less where your needle's going to be, where your button's going to be. Start from the front because if you don't, and just make the two holes for the button, but probably space them a bit wide of each other just to give it an extra strength, and then sew from the back. So you pierce it from the front and that way it's a neater hole. Because if you pierce it from the back and go forward, obviously you're going to press the card forward like in a blob, and it's neater if you don't. So just make go through the holes that you've made and leave a bit extra at the back so that you can knot it. And I would sew this about four times through. But also, don't tighten it. Make sure there's a bit of looseness on it because it has to be flexible enough to slip over the ribbon when you put the ribbon on. I've done it three times, that'll do. And then just loosen it off so there's a bit of movement in it and then knot it but you don't have to knot knot because it's anything that's bulky is going to show you can just snip it off and glue it down because the idea is that you're trying to keep the bulk of it away and I'll show you why. The idea is to keep the bulk of it away, just making sure that's still loose, so pull it through so it's still loose on the other side, and get rid of any excess glue. Wash, keep your hands clean. Right, the idea is that when this is done, so that would be the front, this glues over to this, and then there's a really, really nice, neat edge. So once that's settled a bit, I will put the concertina on. But for now, I'll show you how to actually make the concertina up. You've got the concertina pa pages. You get your ruler and your pencil. So you know this is six inches and you know you've cut this to that's 
five inches, one, two, three, four, five, five inches, five. So the first one I'm going to mark at five inches, five, point five. And then with my bone folder thing, I am going to score that first one. You can get your rubber and get rid of any marks at this point so it all stays nice and neat and clean. Right, so your first mark, your first fold, you then make sure that it runs parallel to your piece of paper because it's so easy to get that wrong, to get those marks, measurements just slightly wrong. And now again, keep checking because this one is going to open like a book. So that's the front cover and it's going to open like a book. From then, I don't measure it because I find that it doesn't work. It doesn't come out correct. It's better to just either Mark it, mark the two edges, so, so mark the two edges and then use the ruler and the bone, fo bo bone folder to do it. So you're actually going down the edge and then you've got a really lovely neat edge and then again, so as you remember, get rid of marks at this point. And when you make your fold, use your bone folder to actually crease the fold. Make sure that everything is still running parallel. Right, the other way to do it is to simply get it right up against it so you can really see that it's right. Now just mark it with a fold. I don't like marking it with a pencil, although it does rub off. There, now you've, I mean, and then place it so that it's running parallel. So you've got the two beginnings of the folds. I mean, you could even, but it's now that you use the bone folder to really mark that down. Now, I find that works really, really well. So there's a couple of methods you can use there. So you go right to the end of the concertina, paint, paying care and attention to all the aspects of it, which is getting a nice fold onto that edge where your concertina is going to be, but also keeping it parallel. See, I've got it, I've lost it a bit there. You, you need it to stay parallel so that it opens and closes up all nice and parallel. Now this is the last one. I'm going to put it down, to make sure that's parallel. Right, so that, is your first piece of paper for your concertina and you know that when it's when the buttons on when the covers on it opens like a book so the second bit you start from the other end making sure that your first mark is going to open the way you want it to so i'm going to measure that one at five point it's 5.5 of an inch. Get my bone folder thing. Get rid of those little marks because I don't like them. And fold that in on making sure again that it runs parallel with the paper. So now this is the outside end of your piece and it that also opens up so your two concertina bits will join together and will open like a book. Do the same folding all the way along until you get to the end and then I will show you how to join them. Okay, so last one, fold it over, make sure it's running parallel. And, and now these two pieces you know are running so that your book opens the right way. 
and you just want to join these two so they just slip inside each other like so. Now I don't mind that there's quite a lot of paper there because I like things to be as strong as they possibly can be. So you now just glue those two pieces of paper so you can just mark where that glue is going to come up to. And the same on the other side, so take this off. fold it out, it's all squashed into that corner so it's all pressed into where the fold is going to be, that inside fold and now you know that you want glue on these two pieces because this is going to go in there and that's going to fold over there so you want to get all your extras out the way and this is when you want newsprint, your clean newsprint back, open this out and glue up to those marks that you made so there so the two marks are there and there so glue up to that mark and put glue all the way through and again right up to the edges and not on your lovely clean anything clean so I'm just pulling it across so that I can go right up to the edges on here And again, not too much glue that it gets any lumps in it. As in, you not only don't want any lumps in it, you don't want it to be bulky. Although this bookbinding glue is designed to dry flat. So now you can remove your glued papers and you can sit this in. You want it to go right up into the corner because that's how you designed it to go. And that's where you marked it put those papers together and it should just concertina all up together now with your back and your front open, opening outwards lovely I'm just going to make sure that's all nice and down and I'll rub off any marks that I've made and use my bone folder just to Flatten everything down nicely before I put it to one side. So you have your concertina and the next thing is to join it to the front. So make sure that you've got the front the right way up. Get your bit of newsprint and glue up the back of your front piece of paper, the first piece of your concertina. Do as before, you just spread the ink all over, making sure you take it right to the edges, which is why you need your little bit of paper, because it's best just to go over the edges and up to that fold. Remove your paper, that will go down over your applied button and then you position it centrally. There is a bit of play in this. Once you've got it down, you can drag it a bit, but not much. And then just make sure it's centrally. And it's all going to open up nicely. Okay, that's lovely. And you end up, there's a slight mark where your button is positioned but it's all nice and neat. Then you get your back and you get your ribbon. For the ribbon, if you position it over your button first of all and then take it round however many times you want to take it. So I've doubled it up, one, two, and then I know it's gonna end up on the back here. I now know that's the right length to use for this design. So I can, and I know it's going to fold, it's going to come down to about there. So right, one, two, take it off. Make sure it's double. And nice and flat. And now you apply this to the back of your board. So again, you just glue that down some glue and it's got to be more or less in line with your lovely button so about there and then
then sit that down so it's nice as flat as you can and then the back of your concertina is going to go over the top of it so what I want to do is I just really really want to check that that's right one two and that I can get it over the button I can now I know I can put the glue on the paper with the ribbons at that length Make sure your hands are still clean. Get a clean piece of newsprint. Get the back of your paper. Glue it up right to the edges again. This is on the back of your fold that can be folded right out the way. Oops, more of it there. Not too much glue that it's too thick and gloopy. And then this is the last bit. Get this out the way. All the gluey bits out the way. Get your back. Make sure it's the right way up. And position your last bit nice and neatly onto your, the back of your, your cover. There we go. Just make sure it's all matched up nicely. Could ease it up just a tiny amount, but it's absolutely fine as it is as well. There we go. Then all that's nice and neat out the way. The front's all nice and neat, like so. And then when it's finished, you can just run the ribbon over the top. There, lovely. There you go. So you end up with a lovely little journal concertina that opens like a book and that you can use to journal or scrapbook or sketching. And they make really nice little gifts. I hope that was useful. If you like the video, it's really helpful if you like and subscribe, it really helps me. What I do as well for presentation and for presents is I get a little cellophane bag, just like a card cellophane bag. Pop them in. This is just marginally bigger. And seal down the back. So one, two. You can use what to cover them in. Thanks very much and I hope you enjoyed the video.